Coco's World. So today I'm going to be doing a what's in my college bag, or to be honest, it's really what's in my dance bag, what's in my musical theatre bag. I did this video about four years ago of what's in my dance bag. I was just so little and like I feel like if I could tell myself then like you're at musical theatre college now and you're doing a what's in my dance bag, I feel like I wouldn't even believe it. So obviously from that video, a lot of stuff in my bag has changed and I know, I think you guys will really enjoy it. If you guys are new here today, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram and TikTok and let's go. So this is my bag, it's from Vans. I got it for my birthday and it's just this really like rosy pink and it has Vans off the wall on it. Um, I used to be, just have my Kankan bag all the time but it wasn't big enough. Like I take so much stuff, like you're literally gonna die. I have to carry this on my back every day and it's pain, it's pain. But this bag is just so much bigger than my Kankan bag. It's crazy. So first let's look in what's in the little pocket at the front. So obviously first are my keys. I love my key rings. This is a very rude key ring. It was in my Grease vlog, but I've got this um, evil eye here and a Laduka keychain and I've just got my house keys on here and my locker key. And then I have what I call this emergency pouch and I take this if I have a handbag, if I change bags, like I always have my emergency pouch on me. And in here is just some emergency money and I've got a spare pair of contact lenses, a plaster, a USB and a nail clipper and a nail file. Because like one of my biggest fears and I just hate it when it happens is when especially with long nails, one of them chips, and you have to go about the whole day having a spiky nail. I hate it, so I always carry my emergency pouch. And then I just put in my essential makeup. So I just got my NARS concealer, Charlotte Tilbury lip liner and lip gloss, and then my blush brush. Blush brush, that's a mouthful, because it's really pigmented. It's like all stained on the brush, and I have to admit to it, I don't really wash this brush a lot. So like in the morning, I don't usually like actually put blush on my cheeks I just get the brush and I rub it on because it's just as pigmented and then on the edge of my blush brush I've got like four hair bands because I need a lot of hair bands and they always snap and then inside of the front pocket is like another little zip and in here is where I keep all of my ballet hairpins. So I have a lot <laughs> of hairpins. I'm sure my fellow dancers will understand. They go missing like and you just don't know where they go. Like you take you take your bun out and then you're like where do I put my pins and they just disappear from thin air. But I'm really specific about my pins. They need to have like the plastic bit on the edge because sometimes I say to my friends can I borrow a hairpin and they give me one and it hasn't got like um the plastic thing so it's just like really pokey metal and it's pain. And then I've just got my bun nets. Well, they're actually not bun nets, they're hair nets. And they're just so much better. If you're a dancer, um, get hair nets because bun nets can go around your bun maybe twice. Hair nets, at least like four or five times. And it just keeps your bun so much more secure. But I literally go through two hair nets a week because they just always rip. They're ridiculous. And then in the second section of the front, <laughs> zip up. I have paracetamol because, come on, it, it's dance college. I'm gonna need some paracetamol. Like today, I had an audition after college and I had to wear heels and my feet are in agony. I've got like the biggest bruise on my left foot. I was like literally limping home. And then I just have a pencil in case I need to write anything down. And this is a strange one. And honestly, I'm not 100% sure why it's in here. It's the Spotlight Love Your Smile Teeth Whitening Gel. So you basically pop the lid off, turn this thing, and this liquid stuff comes out and you put it on your teeth and you like leave it for five minutes and then you rinse your mouth and your teeth are always whiter. So I, I think maybe if something unexpected happens and I need to look nicer, I can whiten my teeth throughout the day. And then I've got this thing called a Morris Bone Prop. We need these for voice and singing and you put it in between your teeth like that and it makes you really pronunciate your words. In voice, we've been doing RP accents. So this has been, <laughs> so this has been really helpful because it really makes you 
pronounce your words and afterwards your diction's clearer. And apparently my dad tells me I haven't got very good diction, so I'll be using this. And something about me is apparently I always smell really nice. I get compliments literally every day about how like nice I smell. It's like my favourite part of the day. <laughs> and I just I just love it. When we say, like, Oh, you smell nice, I'm like, thank you. Thank you. But I don't like carrying big bottles of perfume, so I take these little vials and the one that I've been getting compliments on recently is Pen Halligan's Babylon. It's only small, how many milliliters is it? It's only 10 milliliters and it just smells glorious and it really like lasts on you throughout the day. Brilliant. And then the last thing in the front part, and I think I'm literally the most intelligent person on this earth for doing this, I take two emergency biscoffs. Just because, what if I'm waiting for the train and it's delayed and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm really hungry. Emergency biscoff. What if I'm thinking, oh my God, I feel really faint, I'm gonna pass out. Emergency biscoff. So now let's look what's in the main compartment. And guys, this is so heavy. Carrying this to college every day is honestly kind of painful, but that's why I've got a backpack instead of a handbag. Because yeah, handbags look nicer, but with the amount of stuff I'm carrying, the weight, I can't imagine. If I'd probably get scoliosis. So first I have two hair brushes because I'm putting my hair in a ballet bun every single day, then taking it out and then putting it in a ponytail, maybe half up, half down. It's very chaotic, so I've just got my Tangle teaser to actually brush my hair and then this Denman brush to slick it back with. I don't take any hairspray because, honestly, every single person at my college carries hairspray or gel with them, so I just borrow someone's every day. It's kind of cheeky, but it works. Then I have deodorant and the best deodorant. Honestly, the best deodorant is Mitchum. It's amazing. My Pilates teacher is very like hygiene obsessed and she's like saying to all of us, you have to get Mitchum. So I was always um, a dove girly and I thought, you know what, let's just try out Mitchum. Guys, it's life changing, it's life changing. I thought this had a scent. I don't know if it's powder fresh, but it's women Mitchum and it smells really nice, it smells really flowery. Um, and this can kind of double up as a perfume too. Then I have, <laughs> it seems dramatic, but it's not, um, an ice pack at my college. We've got two buildings and there's ice machines. So I fill this up with ice, then put some water in it because I have been having really bad knee problems recently and I was told by my osteopath to ice my knees as much as I can. So in lessons, when they start hurting or during breaks and lunch, I ice my knees. And actually something really interesting that I've learnt, and I just feel like I should share these wise words of wisdom. So say you fall over or you um, go over your ankle and it starts swelling up, you immediately think, oh, I've got to put some ice on it. The thing is, you should not put ice on it. Even if you like break your arm or dislocate something, do not put ice on it because it will start to swell and you're like, oh my God, my foot's swelling up. But the reason it's swelling up is because the blood's going to that area to heal it. But if you put ice on it, you're taking away the blood. So you're literally just gonna make your injury heal slower. And all the ice is gonna do is relieve the pain, just take some painkiller and let your body do the work. And then I have my tap shoes. I have blocked tap shoes, yeah, and split sole. Obviously my teacher hates that I have split sole, but split sole are literally so much better. I love them. These are so old as well. I feel like I've had these since I was eight. <laughs> I also have some stuff for Pilates. <laughs> This seems literally so dramatic, like it's the most ridiculous stuff I'm pulling out of here, but honestly. So I've got um, a heavy weight resistance band, so this we usually put on our thighs and it strengthens your hip flexors. And then this long, like five meter TheraBand, and this is um, for like hamstrings. And also when I do ball ballet, um, I have it next term we use this and that's to, um, we use that to strengthen like our metatarsals for point. And speaking of ballet, I have my ballet stuff. I have ballet every day, so overall it's just over six hours of ballet a week. It's pain. I've got my Capizio canvas ballet shoes. I love these, they're iconic. And then we all have the same um, ballet leotards. I hate these, we all hate them, but everyone who doesn't go to my college 
always compliments them. It's very strange, but I really can't stand them. But in second year, we don't have to wear matching leotards, so I can't wait to just rip it. And then my ballet tights. Honestly, every single pair of tights I have are laddered. Every single pair. I have a pair in my bin now because today I was putting them on. They laddered, so my entire ballet lesson I had this massive hole on my bum. And then I also have some black tights and a black leotard because most of my jazz classes are all black or even contemporary is all black too. Tight all blacks. And I always try and wear like jogging bottoms to college too because then I can wear my leotard and put my jogging bottoms on and then I'm ready for commercial uh, or contemporary. So it's quite versatile, my bag. And then I've got my trusty old Ladruka. If you guys have watched like my last two videos, you will know all about the Ladukas. They are the Gucci of dance heels and they are just stunning. I wore these for um, my jazz class today and an audition after college, like I said. They're so much more broken in and they're easier to dance to, but they are giving me blisters. They come with socks and I should wear them. Or maybe I just need to give in to the pain. You know, I think I should just do that. And then at the bottom of my Leduca bag, I carry my jazz shoes. They've even got this weird like Coca Cousin Brown sticker in them. I think these jazz shoes are from year six and they don't fit me, but all the time my timetable changes. I mean, I have cover teachers or guest teachers and then they'll be like, oh, we'll want this for that. Can you wear this for that? And I always have these just in case because I did have a guest teacher once and he said, can you please wear jazz shoes? And everyone was like, oh my God, I don't have jazz shoes. I was like, I do. That's why I overpack my bag. Honestly, for a bit of peace of mind. And my locker is just full. Like I've got spare everything in my locker. Like even spare trainers, because sometimes I like to go to college in my Uggs if that day I've only got like singing, acting and voice. But if there's a cover lesson, it's a jazz class and I don't have any trainers, I've got a spare pair. And then I've got my two journals. So for my diploma, I've got to keep a journal for acting and voice and for ballet. And honestly, do I fill them in? No. Should I get on top of it? Most definitely. I was really like religious with it the first couple weeks and then I stopped. The thing is, so did everyone and apparently they don't check. So I, I do need to get on top of it. I will get on top of it. I'll do it after this video. That's probably a lie. And then I have another notebook and I have this for my music theory because um, in my harmony lessons, sometimes we do music theory instead. But it's really interesting because the last couple of lessons for me have been really, really easy because I did GCSE music. And it's just so funny because most of my classmates are much older than me. Um, there were only like seven of the 16 year olds who joined and then everyone else is 18 to 23 and people who did music theory just know more. I feel like it's so helpful like m music GCSE is just a godsend like it was amazing and I always feel so cool like if there's a cover teacher they say oh um who can read music I'm always like I can I can read music and in here just such easy stuff like he was drawing out stuff and saying this is a crotchet, this is a quaver, this is a semi-quaver and writing a rest and saying this is a quaver rest and I was like I know all this stuff, I actually feel really smart and then finally I have my rap folder and this just has all of the songs that I could do for auditions or practicing my singing classes and it's getting so much bigger since I joined because at my college we have private singing lessons but there are th um, three in a class and we all have different singing teachers and I am just in love with my singing teacher. She is fabulous and I've gotten so, so much better at singing. Every week she makes us bring a different song to work on. So this just keeps growing and growing. Some of my favorite songs are Look What Happened to Mabel. I did that this week. Maybe this time. Far From The Home I Love from Fiddler on the Roof. Someone Like You from Jekyll and Hyde. Forget About The Boy. That was actually my college audition song. Andante Andante, Burn from Hamilton, I Get a Kick Out of You. I don't actually like those ones. And then I also keep my sheet music for harmony classes and group singing classes. So in my MT class, we're doing Freak Flag <laughs> from Shrek. <laughs> it's very interesting, but I've got the sheet music for that. Tell Me It's Not True from Blood Brothers. 
And we're also doing Thoroughly Modern Millie from Thoroughly Modern Millie. And it was actually such a fun lesson this week. We've been doing the song Thoroughly Modern Millie for about three weeks now, three lessons. And then it was the, our last lesson before Easter and he said, just go into groups and like create choreography. So we're all doing like the Charleston, like everything to do is thoroughly modern. The crows are getting snazzier. I loved it. So guys, that was what's in my dance bag. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye. Sashay away.